Here we are in the Airstream with Guster. Welcome. Thanks for having us. And I uh, have a feeling that it's funny. I, I was like, if I throw any serious questions at these guys, they're going <laughs> to crucify me. <laughs> I, you guys don't do serious no, answers, we do. so we I'm not going to bother. If you ask about the Earth, Adam will answer. I know. I do, I do know about that, and we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> That's Earth, always sincere. Is that the well, only... now I have to lay up some sort of joke when you ask me, but all right. <laughs> all right. Is that the only thing you guys take seriously is the uh, Earth? No, I, we're, we're ser- we did an interview today, and we were pretty serious, I really? think. I think so, sort of. Doing my homework on you guys, humor plays a big part of your camaraderie, chemistry, I'm guessing. Is that true? Just when the camera's on. The rest of the time we go in our own little worlds, we don't talk to each other, and then we turn it on. It's just business of show, man. You gotta keep keep it together. It's my understanding that you guys first got together in like 91, so 20 years yeah, together. 20 years, the three of us, 20 years, for 20 sure. years, so, you know, how does how do you guys keep it together 20 years? A miracle. Do you guys ever come close? To, I know there were some breaks in your career where, you know, there wasn't a record for a few years. Was there ever any point where, uh, yeah, let's let's part ways? There was definitely, the only time that we ever, that the whole thing ever, like, came to a standstill was for, like, a week last year. But other than that, <laughs> when we kind of hit rock bottom. But before, before that, we were always in the process of writing, recording, touring, or, like, taking a very distinct break so we should, could sort of recharge our batteries. And even this last break, which was our longest between records, we were spending a lot of that time writing. You know, we had kids. Uh, the three of us all had uh, daughters in 2008 within four months of each other. So even that was planned, sort of. I've only heard of women timing out, having babies It was together. the women. It was the wives. Okay. It wasn't <laughs> us. Get over here. We are on schedule. Um, so, yeah, we've pretty much, you know, we've been a band, and this has been our main focus since, you know, pretty much since we were 17 years old in some capacity, which is crazy to think about. It is, in and, and one blurb, uh, one of you guys mentioned, it's like, we started when the internet started. Yeah. So we've grown up together. Yeah. And I thought that was a really cool thing to mention, and you guys use those tools probably better than most bands. Um, is there some kind of advice you could dole out there? to how to use that I mean your fan base your fans freaking love you and you guys use those tools really well I guess you know it's like the first the the best advice I have that actually relates to the internet is just make sure your songs are great because it almost doesn't matter anymore it almost this marketing stuff it's you know I almost feel like people put the marketing first and now it's like if you make a great record there's a better chance that people will hear it now more than ever so the most important thing you can do for your band marketing wise is write great songs put on a great live show and make a great record because the then the internet exists to help spread that word and it can get out there in two seconds if something it has the ability to ignite people's you know attention and interest i also think you guys are very brave to uh restrict yourself to the confines of a boat with your fans periodically <laughs> oh is that a good experience when you do like yeah, a going rock on a, cruise going on, thing? A cru- going on a cruise ship? how is that i always wanted to ask yeah, I mean, it's there's... mostly great. Uh, we all have different opinions. Yeah, about it. it depends. I think I like it the most. Yes, you, you like do. it the least. Yes, I do. And are you in the middle, or are you don't like? My it whole either? family got diarrhea. On the last <laughs> so it was great. Done. They're for, out. For the most part, or you're, you're, I mean, I'm sure there's some. It's they get anyone gets enough drinks in them, they might get a little in your face and a little annoying as a fan. But yeah. For the most part, but for the most part, not on the boat and otherwise, like people are cool. Like we're not Jared Leto. You know what I mean? Like people see us and we're just like a speak, speak for yourself, yourself dude. <laughs> you guys Jared are Jared Leto. Leto? I'm Jared fucking Leto. Leto deck. <laughs> and so for the most part, people are cool and we're cool and I carried my baby around with me, so it was like another layer of don't fucking talk to me while I'm eating French fries. But mostly everybody's really cool almost all the time. Just to show that... Did anyone else have anything else you want to say about that? <laughs> about the boat? Yeah. Uh, just to show the range of you guys, uh, I, literally, like, I'm clicking through one YouTube video to another, and just to show you the order of things, I'm clicking on one, it was from 99, and it was like, hey, here's Guster throwing a couch off a balcony. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and the the very next one, I you know I just go to the next one, and it and it's it's you uh, like at a con- congressional hearing. <laughs> I was suit. really hoping you were gonna say that was the next yeah. one. I'm like, oh, that's good. Whoa, these guys cover some ground, uh, and that's about uh, your project Reverb, which is very very cool and certainly worth mentioning here. Yeah, they asked they called me to testify about biofuel specifically. Um, and actually, I worked pretty closely with Annie and Willie Nelson because they're uh, on this. Uh, they have this organization called Sustainable Biodiesel Alliance, and uh, we work a lot with them as Reverb to help bands go green on tour, putting biodiesel on the buses and trucks. But that's one of many things we do from all the different things that you can do practice-wise and product-wise. At first, I thought it was, and maybe it was at first, just you guys and your project. But there's how many bands are, are on board with? Uh, we're about to do our hundredth tour. So yeah, it's a lot of bands and a lot. Most of the bands that hear of going green have have worked with reverb. So Dave Matthews band, Jack Johnson, John Mayer, Maroon 5. Say Coldplay, Arcade Fire. Arcade Fire, Passion Pit, Paramore. There's some cooler bands for you. Paramore? Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> as, as far as the couch was concerned, yeah. we got it in the house, but we just couldn't figure out how to get it down the stairs. <laughs> to get it out so we had to launch it and now it's got like more hits than all of our videos combined okay, he's throwing Fuck. a couch I know Fuck. okay go they know they know the power we don't know the power well cool man good catching up with you guys thanks for coming thanks in thanks for having thanks. us in the airstream <laughs>